And uh, but I, I got sense enough. I know to, to keep fighting and keep you know proving my innocence. So man, uh, uh, like I said, I've been on down for double digit years, man, and and I, I feel your pain because right. we share the same pain. You know, I had the life since now you got one, man, and the system is a revolving door; it never stops. Yeah. You know. The system never stops, right? Right. So that's why I said, man, that you know, uh, when when you see people on this channel and, and you've seen it before, people are not here to glorify prison, man, because right. uh, not at all. It's it, it's not a place for anybody, you know. Right. As you can see, you're inside of the Tefl unit on the bottom bunk, and it, and it's and the mental process is draining. Yeah, absolutely. You know, and, and been there, done that, and you have to deal with all the going to child, waiting on commissary, waiting on mail call, right? Right. That part alone can drive a man up the wall if he's not mentally tough, right? And like I express to people all the time, man, prison is not physical anymore. Right. No, it's not. It's mentally, man. And and, and, and and it's way more mental now versus physical when we went in, right? Your 17 right. years you went in when you had to do things in order to get things done. You know? And the older we get, the harder it is to even do a day in prison. Yeah. You know? And, and just like you just stated, man, the, the youth is down there and uh, with a lot of time, but don't consider doing nothing but smoking K2, right? Yeah, 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 they lost, man. You know, and, and I find myself, you know, uh, you know, given my experience, uh, you know, I, I, I try to talk to the little brothers. I tell them about, you know, what I've been through coming from Gideon State School, you know, on up through the system. Uh, but, you know, it's got a lot of people feel like that, you know, you can't tell me that you ain't my big homie or, you know what I'm saying, that was way back then and you know, things are different. I can do what I want to do. So, you know, it, it kind of get frustrating, man. I, you know, but I try to get my testimony to him and, and tell him, you know, to look where I'm at. Because I told myself also that I'd never be put back in prison again. I never let these people put me back in prison. And now that I find myself here, uh, again, something like you say, sometimes I feel like I let myself down. You know, even though it was some things was out of, beyond my control. But I still try to make the best of my situation. So man, let me ask this. So uh now that you of age, right? Right. Do do they consider you as what they call, I guess, when, when a person of age, uh look out old school. Yeah. Uh, um, look out OG. Yeah. Yeah, they uh, call me either uncle or old school. Yeah. So that's just a title they put on, on you because of your age, right? Right. Uh yeah. And if, if if you know or you can you know remember or if you don't had contact with them, one of them, or a lot of those youth that are doing big time, the ones that I run into, man, they they some of them got you know life without parole, like twenty one years old, life without parole. Uh, you know, I, I think that a lot of people that ain't you know been in this, I grew up in this, is not saying that I'm. You know that I'm used to this or whatever, but I mean I I learned to adapt. But giving them 30 years and they 20 years old, you know, you know, they don't have hope either. You know, they, they they can't see the they can't see the light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah. So man, uh, let me ask you this, man. Why I got you on? And like I said, it's by the grace of God. I just looked at the phone and there you was, man. So it's meant for you to be here, and it's and and, and it's meant for you to give this spiel, right? Right. And, 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 you know, I'm just going to let you, you know, just take the flow, man, and, and, and tell the people what you want them to know. Right. Um, like I say, I'm, I'm out of Dallas, Texas, and, um, you know, man, I, I never thought I'd be back on this side of the fence. Uh, you know, I was a little young guy that had dreams and goals that I wanted to do and accomplish once I got out. 
And um, I started some of those goals of being a father and a grandfather uh, to my daughter and my grandsons. And um, and, I, and, I, and, I, and I I cherish that time. And I'm doing everything possible to get back out, to be that, to continue to be that man that I was and, you know, to thrive. And, you know, I want my own business. And, uh, you know, this is not the place for nobody, man. It's not the place for nobody. So, I mean, we like to dibble and dabble over that fence, but we never think about the times that what if we get caught? Uh, who would that all affect? It only just affect. It don't just affect you. It affects your whole family. You know you. <laughs>